Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Index Hub IQ and Central Life Link webinar a demonstration. My name is Janina Elias. I'm the Central Technical Lead for North America, and I'll be your host today. So welcome once more. This webinar uses a new product version for Central 2.1 and is primarily designed for existing users of the DeepRock software suite. However, it will also contain and highlight important information for new users or users of um, DeepRock Geo. So what are we going to cover today? Let's talk a little bit about the objective and the background for this webinar. First, I'm going to discuss a bit um, um, the topic of real-time decision-making and how this is really an important aspect of our work for every one of us working in the mining industry and how it has influenced our decision-making around this life link. Then I'd like to introduce you a little bit to the partnership with Index and uh, how this has been a long-standing partnership and the evolution of it over time. Then I'd like to jump into the active demonstration part for the live link, starting off by showing you the Index Hub itself and how to set up a project in there. Then we're going to jump into the central admin portal and show you how that connection between the hub and the portal is established. And finally, we'll have a look in the central browser itself to see what that real-time visualization between the information from the hub and central really looks like. Then we're going to round off the presentation with a forward outlook to uh, what is happening in the sequent world next. We'll talk a little bit about what's coming up in regards to training, support and licensing. And uh, at the very end, I'd love for you to participate in a little survey that will always help us to make our product and our future webinars, of course, that much better. So thanks already in advance for your participation. Okay, so let's jump in. The objective for today. Basically, it's all about real-time decision-making. This is really a topic that concerns all of us, whether we are geologists, work as managers, or are active in the business or sales environment. There's really an enormous amount of pressure to instantly act as soon as we receive new information. That's really true for every one of us. At the same time, though, we ourselves all expect that the increasing amounts of data volumes that we receive are readily available for easy consumption. The reality is, though, that the industry has not yet quite caught up to the demands of our data and information-driven society. Now, when it comes to sequent, our mandate is truly complexity to clarity. You'll see this um, little header on a number of our slides and our general presentations, etc. And it is truly our goal to identify sort of the evident gaps in the industry and create solutions to guide the industry on a clear path from data complexity to decision clarity. So the decision is, or the question is, what innovations and solutions can Sequin deliver to address this need for fast and reliable data consumption and subsequently real-time decision-making? When focusing specifically on the mining and exploration industry, one of the most important points of entry for data is at the drill rig. We all know that. The information created here is truly the lifeblood of any project, and by employing new technologies, the amount of valuable data provided is truly immense. This data has the potential to instantly affect the progress of a drilling campaign if it is accessed, interpreted, and fully understood right there and then. I mean, it's true, who hasn't spent entire nights, if you're geologists, for example, um, in the rain at a drill rig, waiting for the rods to be pulled with a soggy piece of paper in our hand, noting down the latest survey data? Quite a few of us have done that, right? And um, yeah, it's something that we do still do all the time on a regular basis, but it's probably not the fastest and most uh, yeah, accurate way in order to get this new data onto the table of the people that have to make decisions. What if there was a better, particularly a drier way <laughs> out there to allow access to survey information and other freshly generated data types much faster in almost real time? Well, at this point, I'd like to introduce you to our partners at Index. Uh, many of you will be familiar with Index, or uh, formerly known as Reflex, or a lot of the tools that are employed at uh, the drill rig in forms of drilling tools and analytical tools are called 
Refax tools. And uh, we initially teamed up with Index in 2012 because we realized that both of our companies have a very similar outlook and vision regarding the industry and uh, its current and future needs. We started off our partnership with the IOGAS Live Link, which allows the user of Leapfrog Geo and Index IOGAS to correlate geochemical information within the context of a 3D geological model. Now, this was the first step into a right direction or into the right direction and uh, gave us the uh, rise to additional thinking, particularly when considering the situation at the drill rig. So what if, if we could elaborate on this concept of 2D data integration into a 3D model and pull the data from the earliest point of entry, i.e. the drill rig? Now, Sigma and Index are created in parallel two solutions that broach the topic of data management and storage. For the ones amongst you uh, who are not completely clear on what Central is, uh, let me give you a brief introduction. So Central is a model management solution that helps you visualize, track, and manage your geological data from a centralized, auditable, auditable environment. But what does that actually mean? The idea is that within Central, you have the option to bring all of your different project versions in over time, preserve them, and thus build a consistent history that you can track over time. Within each individual version and along this history track, you can annotate, communicate, communicate, communicate and actively collaborate amongst all the people involved in the modeling process. And because of this um, entire history being tracked and the communication being tracked, you create an auditable trail over time. There are lots of additional features within Central that allow you to collaborate, not just from the perspective of communication, but also from an active modeling standpoint by being able to object integrate across models, for example. So Central is truly a model management solution that takes you into the future of the mining industry. Now, Index have developed over time a suite of tools that allow you at the drill rig at the gathering of survey, structural, geophysical, and geochemical information so right there and then. All of the data that is collected um, is retrieved in a digital format and can be uploaded in almost real time to the free Index Hub IQ, a cloud environment or a 2D data storage environment that provides instant access to almost live data, but doesn't quite allow for 3D visualization of the data in the context of your current model. And now this is where we felt yet again that there was a natural synergy between our products, between the Index Hub IQ and Central. So the 2D platform that collects all the data and the 3D application that allows you to visualize the information in 3D. So we opened up our API or our application in program interface to index and created in partnership yet another live link between our products. And so how does this actually work? It's fairly straightforward to set up the connection between the index hub IQ and central. All you have to do is to follow three steps. First, you have to create an API key within the index hub. Then you turn on the central um, central portal, place the API key within the portal, and then you can navigate to the browser and seamlessly watch all of your 3D inf or 2D information being visualized in 3D in the relative context of your 3D model. And you can introduce survey information, structure, and in the future, potentially geophysics and geochemistry. So it's really quite straightforward, but I can talk about it as much as I want. Images will carry the message much, much farther. So I'd like to introduce you now um, to the actual piece and uh, I'm going to jump into my demonstration component of this presentation. All right, so here we are in the Index Hub IQ. Now this is um, available on the website and as I mentioned earlier on, if you use the Reflex tools on site and have the ability to download the information uh, directly, you have free access to the Index Hub IQ. 
Now, the steps that you have to follow in order to create your live link to Central are fairly straightforward. All you have to do is to plan a project. I'm not going to go through the individual steps here, but basically you have to introduce the 2D information that Central can read in regards to dual traces. So you bring in your XYZ colors and azimuth, a depth, a dip, fairly similar to what you used to within LeapFrog Geo when you create a dual trace there yourself. Okay, once planned, you go ahead to your account right up here, account management. And then within account management, you have the option to create a new API key. Within here, all you'd have to do is to click on new API key, create a purpose. There we go add and there we are so this is your api key and it's in rather extensive code that you need to copy to a clipboard there we go then you can go ahead and close and not to worry your api key will be preserved within here for the future so you can always come back to it and copy it over when needed the next step is then to go to our central server admin portal so i opened up mine here beforehand and now within the version for Central 2.1, you have a whole new section here called integrations. If I click on integrations, I have the opportunity here to create a new live link integration. So I can just click here on add, give this a name. And then I place my API key within this particular um, section here. Then I need to choose a project that already exists within Central in order to link it up to the project created within the Index Hub. Of course, it's important here to realize that both projects need to correlate in regards to the coordinate systems and need to have the relative basic information in there in order to visualize the physical draw traces and the color points. It's fairly straightforward. Now I choose any of these projects and I'm good to go. Create. Now, for today, I'm not going to create one, but I think you get the gist. There we go. And this is the step now where we can go to the central browser and start visualizing our 2D information coming from the Index Hub directly in the context of our 3D model. So here we are in the central browser, and I'm going to navigate to my already established uh, links project that we have right here jumping into the scene view, and here we are. Now, what I'm going to bring up here are two volumes relative to the large ore bodies within this particular system. Here we go. Now, the next step I'm going to carry out to activate our LifeLink connection is to click here on the Index Hub IQ button. Once I click here, what will happen is that on the right side here, a panel will open up. Now, this panel now establishes the live link based on the integration that I've just correct, um, defined within the portal. So we see here that I'm already connected to my later project in the portal itself. And now I have various visualization options regarding the information that is retrieved from the index hub. So, for example, I can look here at my plan draw holes. There we are. Now, these plan draw holes can be filtered just by clicking on the option right here. And I can have a look at the most recent draw holes or the last couple of days, or I can specifically say I want to have exactly draw holes of choice. So I can go here, select the draw holes, and pick just exactly the draw hole that I wish to visualize. For today, I'm going to choose the option most recent so we can focus on just the last couple of draw holes here. Then I can choose to look at this particular feature here, which will now bring in the physical trace that is established after the drill progress or drill process has been finalized. So we see in this example here that we have the original drill trace of the plant hole, and this line here defines our active or real life um, drill trace including the deviation, of course, that it has taken away from the originally planned hole. Now, the idea is that we can track the progress of this line developing as soon as new data has been introduced into the index hub.
we see here on the right side that there is a constant refresh mode between Central and the Index Hub. So as soon as new data enters the Hub, Central will automatically introduce this information and progress the drill trace here and all the other information that you wish to visualize. So for example, you could also go ahead and look at the individual survey points that are being introduced over time. So if I click on the eyeball here, I can see each individual survey point coming in. And these refer to all of these individual cones here that we see. I can click on each individual cone and that also provides me with a number of metadata here that shows me just exactly what we are working with. The tool type, the, um, the azimuth, et cetera, et cetera. Anything that re is required for me to make a decision on whether we're still on track or whether we have gone off the path of progression. In addition to that, each individual survey point here can be visualized relative to depth, dip, and azimuth to make it easier for us to really understand whether our draw progress is accurate in the way we envision it. In addition to that, we can also turn on structural components here. If you use the structural IQ logger, for example, you can introduce all of these structural elements here to define critical offsets if that is, for example, the target that you are chasing or something that you wish to avoid. So in almost real time, you have the opportunity to really define whether um, a structural component is hit or whether you have um, stepped into a new structural deformation here that could influence your further drilling progress. And everything, of course, appears here in the relative context of your 3D model. So if there were any other features that would inform you in terms of your future decisions towards the drill program, you can bring them in here from the left side. This is your ongoing interpretation and your holistic approach to your uh, to your drill program that will inform active decisions in real time. So you can see already this can be extremely powerful. Depending on how much time you spend in order to bring the data in, you really can jump ahead and make robust decisions um, that really affect how you progress in your drill program based on a good understanding of the ongoing interpretation of your model plus the new data coming in. I mentioned earlier on that there is a potential for geochemical and geophysical data to be introduced in this life link environment as well in the future. So we'd like to hear back from you if this is something that would be useful to you and interesting. So for example, if you happen to have XRF data being collected right um, at the, in the drill environment at the lab at RIG, for example, the reflex tools used there, or the geochemical information such as gamma, magnetism, etc., you can visualize that again within the context of your ongoing interpretation of your model. So if you're chasing certain alteration zones, for example, um, as pathfinders for your mineralization, you can go ahead and visualize the live data relative to this information and see if you are on track. Okay. And this is really part, uh, this is really um, the live demonstration here um, and the index central life link in a nutshell. I'm just going to go back now to my presentation component. Here we go. And just to summarize really briefly, again, why does it matter? Overall, this life link will allow you to first test and validate your model in near real time. It will allow you to make confident and accurate decisions on the spot in order to save money, increase productivity, and of course, overall, reduce the risk to your project. Now, I already mentioned that there is a two-stage release um, of the IMTEX integration, starting off first with survey and structural data, followed up most likely by geophysical and geochemical data integration as well. Now, regarding the future, I'm sure you can already fathom the potential for more data integration partnerships with Central. By sharing our API with third party providers, we have the opportunity to source basically any kind of valuable raw data and display it in the context within the 3D geological model. This will facilitate not only a more holistic understanding of our models, but will also allow for near real time and more robust decision-making process based on highly qualitative information.
in turn. This will ensure the longevity of our projects as well as align our industry with the demands of the current technological trends.